You know, pull tabs have been a thorn in the side of detectorists for decades. However, the history of the aluminum can and how it can be opened is nevertheless interesting. Coming from needing an external opening tool, aluminum cans have gone through an evolution of really three basic types of tabs. The concept for what was first called zip top cans was born in Dayton, Ohio in 1959 when Ermel Fraes devised a can opening method that would come to dominate the can drink market. His invention is known today as the pool tab. It eliminated the need for a separate opener tool by attaching an aluminum pool ring lever with a rivet to a pre-scored wedge shaped tab section of the can top. The first zip top can was introduced by Iron City Brewing Company of Pittsburgh and the trial run proved very successful in March of 1962 in Virginia on Iron City beer cans. Into the late 70s, the pool tab was widely popular, but its popularity came with a significant problem, as people would frequently discard the pool tab on the ground as litter, or drop them into the can and risk choking on them. But these problems were both addressed by the invention of what was called the push tab. Push tabs never gained wide popularity because while they solved the litter problem of the pull tab, they created a safety hazard when the person's finger would push into the can and then was immediately exposed to the sharp edges of the opening. The safety and litter problems were both eventually solved later in the 1970s when Daniel Elf Kudzink invented the non-removing stay tab. And you might not know what prompted the invention of the pull tab. Well, in 1959, while on a family picnic, Ermel Fraze had forgotten to bring a can opener, and he was forced all afternoon to open cans of beer on the bumper of his car. Thinking that there must be an easier way, he later stayed up all night until he came up with the idea of the pull tab. So... I guess we can blame Fraze for all those aluminum pull tabs that we dig. <laughs> 